even going to waste any time today. We are going to jump right into working because it is the final day of March. It is day number 8,976 of March. And it's what it feels like. And um, we're diving right in. So what I want to say is that a lot of times, and I just saw somebody recently make this comment, and it just crushes me because I used to have the same mindset around the end of the month. Um, and I just saw somebody make this comment recently. It's like, well, I'm not going to try to really do much with my conversations and close them right now so that I can save them for next month. Because since it's the end of the month, the next month I can secure my success club. And it just crushes me to hear people say that because all it does to me is scream out, and I love you, if this is you, lack of belief in yourself that you're going to inspire other people that you're going to connect with new people. And it's like, I used to be that same way. And I would like get to the end of the month. And if I had six, then I wasn't really going to push anyone else. And I was going to wait because then I knew I could hit success club the next month. But do you know when I started hitting high numbers with success club? Do you know when my business really escalated? Do you know when I started making more money was when I stopped selling myself short and I pushed hard like I was every day, like success club didn't matter. Another thing that I made a mistake I made early on in my business was once I hit success club, I was good for the month. I didn't need to action hour every day. I could action hour maybe once a couple every other day. I didn't really need to invite too much because I already hit success club. I'm good. Am I cutting out? No. And so people would be like, I just don't, I remember specifically a girl on the team who she doesn't really work the business much anymore, but she said to me, like, she hit success club 10 all the time. But once she hit 10, she would just stop. Well, guess what that would make? That would make it harder to start the next month. It would break her habits. It would break her momentum. Um, I mean, think about it. If you're sprinting to a finish line and you get to a checkpoint, so you stop, and then you try to sprint again, you're never going to have the same momentum as if you just continue to go without worrying about the number. So I want to tell you guys something. I want to tell you that success club is important. And today I am trying to help you secure your success club. Success club is important, not because it's going to make you a million dollars, but because it's showing you that you know how to talk to the people about what's important, how it's going to help them, the total solution, and that you're continuously moving your business forward. So you guys have heard me say this a million times. When I started as a coach, my coach told me, if you consistently hit success club and you're always running a challenge group, if you're always running a challenge group and you're always inviting to it, you're going to hit success club. And if you're always hitting success club, that means you're getting new people in the door. You have new people that you are adding value and changing their life and your business is only going to grow. Now, the speed of your business growing is how far you take that. Are you hitting success club six and you're comfortable with just getting three new people in the door each month? That's awesome. That's not a wrong answer. Or are you someone who, like me, I needed to see success fast. I wanted to leave my job. And so for me, I was in, I was doing 10 X, right? I was trying to hit success club 20. I was trying to hit whatever because I knew that, um, that was going to get more people in the door. Someone on the call last week said, I just get so disappointed. They said it in the, in the comments and I never commented on it and I meant to, but I remember it because it, they said, I just, it's so hard for me because I have to invite 30 people to get one person even interested. And that's where you have to take your emotions out of your invite. Your invites are business cards. Your invites are people walking by you at the mall and you're asking them if they want to try your flat iron. You know what I mean? That little, those people. <laughs> um, but that, you guys, it's a business card. And not every time that someone hands you a business card, are you going to need it? But they're going to be your go-to if you continue to show up, one. And two, if you are being social proof on your social media. I'm going to tell you right now, the stronger you are on your posts and in your stories, a lot of what Tabitha and I talked about on the call last night with your energy, the stronger you are there, the less people you have to invite to get yeses. 
because they don't need much information from you. They see that you're proof. They see the community. They see that you're getting results, right? So today is the 31st of the month, right? 31st? 30 days, half September, November, yeah. Um, I, I always forget that, but it's the 31st of the month. And if you're at Success Club Zero, you can hit Success Club today. Congratulations. It's your day, you're gonna do it. And if you are at Success Club 15 or 20, you could hit Success Club 30 today. What I want you to do is get disconnected from the number and look at the people you're talking to, look at your energy and put your success on what you're putting out there and the quality conversations you're having, the confidence you have in what you're offering and, um, and that really that connection and that passion you're transferring because in that is when the success club comes. Okay. So, um, I want to know really quick, just show of hands, how many people have hit success club already this month? Yay. Look at that. That's exciting. Awesome. Good job. So the rest of you, I mean, the 31st of the month, I know you can do it because on the second of this month, I was at success club eight. And it's not because I was being crazy and inviting whatever. It's because I'm consistent over and over and over again. I never yeah. let Success Club tell me I need to push harder or push less. I just show up me authentically all the time. And I'm not patting myself on the back I'm at all because I definitely am not perfect in all of this. But in that, um, you know, it just compounds over time. We all know that. We read the compound effect when we started this business. So it's truly what it is. So today we are going to hit success club together. You guys know how to add to your network. You guys know all of that stuff. We are getting right down to two things. One, we're going to make a post and it's going to be our transformation. And if you don't have one right now to post, then you're going to write down on a piece of paper and hold it up in front of the screen that you're going to take a picture when we get off the call and you're making a transformation post today, because I want you to throw in the chat really quickly. What is a scroll stopping post to you, to you personally? What's gonna make you stop and look at somebody's post? Because we need to make a call to action this morning. And it needs to let everybody know that our April group is open for enrollment. And we are so excited because it's changed my, being a part of this group has heightened my accountability, gotten me in the best uh, shape of my life at 36 years old, brought me co community that I never knew that I needed and helped me with nutrition that I never thought I could understand. I just got, I just had so many people, if that was a post connect to exactly what I said, because they feel that they either want that or that they struggle with something I said too. something that you can relate to. Exactly. Jess. So for me, a scroll stopping, if anybody posts a transformation of anything, whether it's eye cream, hair products, <laughs> a blowout, or physical transformation, they get my attention because of visual. Am I cutting out? No, it's like being weird. A side by side before and after positivity transformation. Yes. So let me ask you guys, are you posting your transformation every week in some way, shape or form? Because you should be, whether it's in your stories or whether it's on your feed, I don't always put it in my feed because I don't want someone to come to my feed and just see like similar things, but I try to do it in different ways. So today, what we're going to do is we need to scroll stop. So I want you guys to just really quickly on a piece of paper, write down the things that this has done for you. As far as your transformation, what's going to make people want to join you in this April group that's coming up? for you. And for me, my April group is just a continuing of March. I'm just changing the cover photo and I'm telling everybody enrollment's open, even though people can come in at any time because people love a start date. They love to get in when something is exciting. They love that sense of urgency. So we want to make a post. We want it to be a transformation of some sort. And I want to tell you that sometimes people aren't comfortable with full body transformations, just a facial transformation a happiness transformation. These things are just as powerful. So what is scroll stopping for you? Because whatever scroll stopping for you is what your people are going to be attracted to. So I want you to just make a quick list. What's scroll stopping for you? Okay. Maybe some of those points of who you were before and what this has really, like really just think, like don't overthink it. Just really right now, if this community, if you had never joined this, where would you be and where are you because of it? Just super quick. 
So take a couple minutes, write that down, and then we are going to make a post or you're at least going to start crafting it if you're not ready with a picture. I have a picture ready to go because I did it last night. Um, and we're gonna spend the rest of the time connecting and inviting. That's yeah. our work today because it's the 31st of the month. Oliver's calling Rob Poopy Dada. Happy good morning. I'm going to turn on this song while you guys are kind of thinking about this. Thank you to Spruha, I think it was. I had never heard the song, and I did it for my, my thing today, and now I love it. Was this you? Can you guys hear it or no? Physical, yeah. No, Rob. Never mind, we're turning the song off. Rob. I can dance. Well, I don't wanna get you guys, we'll put that on when we're inviting. Okay, so what I want you guys to do right now is, oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's fine. Thanks, Amanda. Um, I'll go ahead and just tell everybody right now. It's going to be fine, but just in case people have to jump off early, Amanda just said not to be the bearer of bad news and not to derail the call. Stay excited, but Summit has officially been canceled. But guess what? We're going to have a virtual Summit, so we're going to plan it, right, Amanda? <laughs> so it'll be fine. We're going to be fine. But, yeah, no Summit. Thanks, Amanda. You know what though? It's not bad. It is disappointing because we love that connection, but there's going to be so many other times to connect. And th if this is what's safer for everybody, then this is what has to happen. And this is just where we are right now, right? Chris is bringing the beads. All right. Okay, so what I want you guys to do right now is either put it in your stories or craft a post. And I'm only gonna give you five minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. I do not want you to overthink this. But what I want you to do is make a post and let everyone know that your whatever you're inviting to, your April group enrollment is open. When you make this post, I like to make the post on Instagram. I then share it into my stories and I copy and paste it onto Facebook. The reason I'm starting you guys off with this is because, especially in this time right now where a lot of people are fearful to invite anybody to anything that might have a little money cost attached, which don't be because I just sold a challenge pack this morning um, and I enrolled a couple coaches last week, like people are ready. But the, the thing is, is that um, it is so much easier for you to use yourself as social proof when you invite and it takes the pressure off of you feeling like you have to say this big long thing. You can just say, hey, I saw that you watched my stories. I don't know if you just saw the post I made, but I'd love for you to join us. Check it out, let me know what you think. It gives you something to direct someone to, to take the pressure off of an awkward conversation, to make it feel more genuine. And then you know that when people are coming to your page or you're inviting, they're gonna see it in your stories, they're gonna see it on your page, and it makes it easier because it takes people sometimes four to seven exposures for them to join you. So you ask them, they see your posts, later they watch your stories, they see it in your stories, that's three. The next time you invite them or that third time, that could be what they want, right? When you drive down the road and you see like a Starbucks 10 miles away, you're like, ooh, ooh Starbucks sounds good. But you just keep going. And then five miles down, it says like the new chai tea latte, whatever. And you're like, oh, yeah, maybe I should stop. No, no, no. I said I wasn't going to spend any more money. And then you see another sign and it's like Starbucks exit now. You're like, okay. I'm going. I don't know if anybody goes on that journey, but I do. <laughs> I have a constant, constant battle with don't go to Starbucks. Um, but that's kind of what it's like. So energy, honesty, your story, what's scroll stopping for you. I'm putting seven minutes on the clock so you can share it in your stories and on Facebook too. We're making a post and we're spending the rest of the time inviting. And connecting. Does anyone want music or does music distract while you post? 
no one really cares. Okay, we'll post in silence. We'll post in silence and then we will um, have music later. All right, ready, go. Every time I get on a call, it's either silverware or blenders. Nope, that's fine.
One more minute. If you guys are done, go ahead and put done in the chat. All right, so if you are still making that post, you can go ahead and continue or just listen for a minute while we kind of talk about what we're gonna do next. So after you make that post and you write it, and you post it, I want you to share it in your stories. Um, and I want you to go ahead and put it on your other social media platform too. If you use something like for me, I always post on Instagram first because it's about the picture and then I share it to my stories. And then I do not have Instagram share it to my Facebook automatically. If you have Facebook posts that are generated by a third party and not directly posted by you, they will get less views. So when Instagram shares it to Facebook, there's a chance, I'm not sure how big of the chance is because these algorithms change all the time, but there is a chance that it will get less views. So I copy and paste the words before I hit post on Instagram and I go to Facebook and I just paste and do it, right? Um, so what you'll wanna do now is continue, finish that post unless you think it's gonna take you this whole hour. If you have more time to invite later, then go ahead and do it. Otherwise, we're going to jump right into connecting and inviting. So how many people know what you are inviting to right now? Awesome. So you should know what you're inviting to as far as your group and as far as your business and as far as a free way for people to join you, right? So for me, I am inviting to the April Spring Revival. I'm gonna allow enrollment through the sixth um, or the fifth. I am also inviting people to listen to Tabitha and my last sneak peek um, and just still kind of thriving off of it was so fun. You should go listen to this. And I put my intro video on IGTV, so I'm directing them to that too. Um, and then, I am also inviting for people that do not say yes, I'm not leading with free, then I have a way for them to join the quarantine fitness group, which is my same group. I'm not stretching myself too thin here and um, allowing them to come in with either the, the trial or the free workouts. So the next sneak peek we have, just so you guys know, um, 
the next sneak peek that's on the calendar is the 8th. So it's like a week away. So for me, I don't like to direct people to my next sneak peek until I'm only like two days from it because I find that if people are excited and they want to hear about it now and it's seven or eight days away, I don't want to make them wait that long, let them get in their head. And then all of a sudden they don't even want to hear. So I always, as I'm inviting, I'm listen to my last one, listen to this one. This was so much fun. Listen to how awesome this is. And I direct them to the last one until it's like, two days away. And then I'm inviting them to the excitement of what's happening live. Um, that's just what works for me. Something different may work for you. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with our stories or posts. So whatever you have more action on for me, I have more views on my stories than I have likes on my posts. So I'm going to go to my stories and I am going to connect with everybody that's watching my story and say something simple like, Hey, I don't know if you, or I saw that you watched my stories today. I don't know if you just saw the recent post or the recent story I just shared, but I'm really excited about this group, especially at this time where we just need a lot of positivity. Let me know if you want more information. I'd love for you to join. Now there's one thing wrong with what I just said. Does anyone know? Let me know. Yes. I said, let me know. I didn't ask them a question. What are the chances I'm going to get ghosted on that? Pretty high, right? So what I should say is, Hey, I just wanted to touch base. I saw that you watched my stories today. I don't know if you just saw my post or what I shared in the story, but I would love it if you would take a look. I just think we all need so much positivity right now. It'd be so fun if you wanted to join us. Do you have any interest in joining us? I don't have to say chat soon. See you later. But when I end, what? Your hands need to be cleaned. Okay. Dad's right there. I'm right here. Thanks. Um, when you end with a question, they're more apt to answer you. Let me know. Doesn't do anything, right? So we are going to go on our stories. And so I'm going to do my Instagram stories and my Facebook stories and invite that way. And then I'm going to go on to my posts and I'm going to connect and invite on posts from the last few days, um, any workout posts that you've done, any food posts that you've done. These are great posts that you can absolutely invite off of those right away. Hey, I saw that you liked that picture of the salad I shared. Hey, I like, I saw that you liked my flex Friday, crazy picture the other day. Um, thanks for giving me support on that. Sometimes it's just fun to, you know, whatever. I just say like, sometimes it's kind of makes me feel silly to put it out there, but I hope to inspire others. By the way, I don't know if you're interested in anything that has to do with fitness, but I have this awesome group that's going to be starting in a week. And I think that because you're a mom or because of whatever, um, you know, you'd really enjoy it. Do you have any interest in hearing any or hearing more about it? So we're going to put music on and for the next 30 minutes, we are connecting and inviting and hitting success club. When you guys have conversations that are moving forward, normally I don't spend that much time in each conversation. I'm just go, go, go. You want to spend time there. If you need help with the conversation, you have how many people on here? 16 people on here right now that you can pop your conversation in the chat. We can help you work through it. You can unmute yourself, ask what anyone would say. Um, our goal is to help you move some conversations forward. It would also be a good time right now to think of who are some people that were on the fence in the last month, two months. It would be a great time to reach out to them and rekindle that conversation and um, invite them. Remember to invite them not with fear, not with nerves of what they're going to respond, but with confidence that what you have to offer is about to change their life. Right? Let them feel that come from you. All right, here we go. And now we can listen to this.
Anybody, I'm going to just put a little playlist on, but anyone that has song requests, let me know. Just put it in the chat. Also, if this starts like being annoying because it's not consistent, like is it going in and out or is it good? It's working? Okay.
Vamos. Why don't you give him paper and he can do Mongolia stuff? Set him up with how he can use it. Yeah, he can use it. I want to start to show and say, I gotta get it off my chest. I know anger, but I know malice. Just a little bit of regret. Nobody else will tell you. So there's some things I gotta say. Gonna jot it down and then get it out of there. I'll be on my way. No, you're not half the way you think that you are. And you can feel the hole inside of you with money, drugs, and cars. I'm so glad I never ever had a baby with you. Cause you can love your family unless there's something in it for you. Oh, I feel so sad. I feel so sad. I tried to help you. It just made you very sad. And I had no warning about who you are. Just glad I made it out without breaking down and then ran so fucking far that you would never ever have to get it So really quickly, I just sent out one that I kind of changed my wording. I'm just sharing. I just said to someone who's been watching my story, she's a mom. I've connected with her before. I said, hey, I just wanted to, or hope you're doing well in all this chaos. I really wanted to create a space for us moms to thrive and connect and work on us even during this time. And I wanted to see if you want to join. I just post about it, posted about it this morning. So check that out. Would you like me to give you more information? So saying something about like creating a space for whatever would appeal to you might be something that allows people to see that they can come in any way, shape or form, but like what the purpose of the space is, it might be more appealing to someone than a challenge group for health and fitness right now too, you know, because we really need to make sure in our groups, we are providing more with mental health and things like that now too, and keeping it fun. So just another idea there um, for how to word things. If anyone else has something that's you want to put in the chat of what you're sending, um, that could be helpful. Go right ahead. Oh, off of the gram. It's a love the gram. Oh, wait, shit. I'm 
Daddy, watch it.
got one, two times on me. That's in the leads, and I'm yours. I'm yours. And I'm only a blues boy just to say a smile. Cause you got no flaws. No flaws. I'm not trying to be your bottom lover. Sign me up for that full time. I'm yours. I'm yours. So what a man got to do. What a man got to do. Extremo, extremo, 
You want to take a, you. yeah, you're welcome. You want to, let's take a boomerang while you're on real quick. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Me too, me too, me too. Ooh, good one, Jess. Me too. You too? Yeah. All right, we'll pretend. Ready? Yeah. Um, all right, ready? One, two, three. Good job. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bye, Bruja. Bye. Bye, Juba. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, I know we have a couple minutes until 11, and I just wanted to hold you for an hour today, um, but I'm going to just finish going through what I'm doing right now. I probably have like five more minutes to get through a couple posts in this. Um, so you guys are welcome to, if you're done, jump off. What I would do is say schedule time later today that, and plan it with whoever you live with that from this time to this time, you are going to be checking on your post, inviting and responding off it, inviting off your story from it and going through your inbox, um, and setting yourself up for success and make sure you're not doing it at like 7 PM because it's the 31st. So if you're someone that's trying to hit success club, you probably want to revisit this around like 2 p.m. You know what I mean? In the afternoon, give you time to get through these conversations and hopefully close some of them. At any time you need help with them, just send them um, my way. I know Amanda's way. I'm sure Tabitha would help. Anybody that you feel like would help with the conversation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the music on. You guys can stay on and power through what you're just finishing now or whatever you need to do. All right, here we go. My two to four star, just to throw this in there, if anybody needs another like check-in point, my two to four star mastermind is doing an action hour at 
two o'clock central time i believe it is it is two o'clock central time if anyone wants to like just have another accountability piece i'll post that i'll just post it here for now and i'll post it in goal getters too i already posted it in worthy warriors if you just want another place to be like okay i have another planned time at two o'clock this afternoon to work i'll be again. on it i'll be doing i'll be working from two to four today yay oh, good then you can jump in sweet all right I'm working. We talked about this yesterday, Sorry if anybody gets offended by swear words in songs. All right, after this song, I'm going to say that I'm going to hop off and do some school time, but I'll be working it too again. I'm 
All right, how did everybody do? Did we have some success in our, oh, Carissa, sorry. Did we have some success in our action hour today? Yeah? It felt good to just kind of just power out the last 30 minutes and not be jumping around, right? Because we can add to our network and do all that other stuff later, but quality post and then just like action. Cool, so, um, do you know if that action hour today is going to be a lead action hour, Amanda, or if it's going to be like this, like where everybody just works? You think it's going to be lead? No, I think it's going to be more like this because it's just like our mastermind jumping in and like Sydney planned it. I don't think she's going to be like, hey, let's like do this now. Right. Okay. Cool. I think it's going to be more like, let's just work together. Okay. But cool. I might jump on there then. I just put it yeah, in. Yeah, I can jump in and just see. 